the last two weeks of the of this entertainment season, I guess you'd call it, we would go up into the Upper Peninsula. That would be probably in uh, late May, early June. And we ended up being at Marquette State Prison, which was a, a capital punishment prison where they had murderers and bank robbers and all these very sophisticated jail birds, I guess would be the best way to describe it. But they also had a rink in the prison yard. I was kind of a favorite because I was so penalized so much that I was like one of the prisoners and they felt like I, I was a prisoner. I was a prisoner in the National Hockey League penalty box. So I, was, I got along good with them. And then of course, the warden asked Jack Adams, he said, would you bring your hockey team up here to play in the prison yard? And Adams said, well, figured it, no way and this guy is going to be able to come up with this. Adams said, well, if you pay to fly the team up and fly them back and put them up at the hotel, I'll do that. And Adams figured that would be the last of it. He got the money and he, from the local business people. And we, we play in the prison yard. We take, we split the team up. We put Sachuk into the prison goal. Took the, we took the prison goalie and put him in our net. We, defensemen we split up, the lines we split up. They, they had made a Stanley Cup in the uh, workshop at the prison yard that we played for. And it was just great. It was wonderful to see. There was a gang there called the Purple Gang at that time, they were the Jewish Mafia in the early 30s. And these, all these gentlemen were all older, just class people, really were. And prisons, I learned, were like our society. If you're a rapist, you're the scum of the prison. And if you're a bank robber, you're the president of the prison. I mean, this is, this is, the, way, this is the way they rationalize their, and I, that's, you know, because the guy had a brain, you know, he didn't, doesn't go around just shooting people, he, he puts thoughts into things. And we always said, you know, do we have to worry about what's going on in the prison? I mean, can somebody take us a hostage? They said, you'll never have to worry about that because we know everything that goes on in this prison. And if one, anybody ever thought to take what you people are doing coming up here, if any guy was stupid enough to do that, he'd be dead before he took one step. As hockey players, I don't think we had to worry about our career. Uh, but I, I must say that we probably got every bit as much out of it as what they got out of it because we recognized the other side of life. Uh, we talked about how good hockey's been to me, what it has done for me, the opportunities that it's given to me. And then you see these people, they had the same opportunity as you or I, but they took a different road. And recognizing they thought they were going to get away with it, but they didn't get away with it. And, but they, they were paying their debt to society, and so we uh, had a wonderful time with them.